but his opposite number reflects the other side of the managerial coin. Your commentator, Alan Parry. Howard Kendall is one man who would be glad to see the end of 1983. Everton's indifferent form recently has placed him under great pressure, but it's only fair to point out that last season under Kendall, Everton finished seventh, only just missing a place in Europe. At present, though, they're seventh from bottom, struggling to score goals and badly hit by injury. Today, though, three experienced players return to the side, John Bailey, Adrian Heath and Andy King. Injuries have also affected today's commentary lineup. Strikers Terry Gibson and Dave Bamber are both out and were badly missed at Nottingham Forest on Wednesday when Coventry were beaten for the first time in ten games. Steve Hunt returns following a two-match suspension. So it's Everton in the dark blue shirts who kick off attacking from left to right. And their problem this season, all too obvious, they've scored only 11 league goals the poorest record in all four divisions. This is King. Mountfield in, on by Heath. Heath chasing a through ball that looked a lost cause. Allardyce was calm. King in. And Everton battling to win possession with Bailey. Sheedy. Gray's touch, a nice one to Reed. This is Irving. Reed let it go to. Oh well, that was handball, surely. And the referee let play go on, and the Coventry defenders furious. Because as the ball was driven in from the right, it seemed that Andy King used his hands to control it. The referee waved play on, and Everton get a corner. coming in late and the goalkeeper in trouble Heath with the shot Irvin and that corner aided and abetted by the wind causing Abramovich all time